I like everything so far that I'm seeing because these are yeah, there's still some of these small ones and things, but that could be the best spot in the entire pack. tower this spring and it was kind of an experiment early in the spring I planted in these old potato bags so so that we could kind of this is what I had been using so what I wanted to do was figure out whether or not this potato tower would be as good as or a better option for us because the bags just take up a lot of room and they they don't look very nice and I kind of don't really care so much for the look of the shame tower to be completely honest either but it's a little bit less annoying than these junky bags with the potatoes that just sort of the foliage just spills out of it and it doesn't look very nice I'm hoping that this will at least as work work for us as well as the potato bags so what I thought I would do is I have a few of these bags and to be honest some of them had old potatoes from the year before that just kind of started growing and so I left those bags alone and I put new potatoes in the other bags so I'm not really sure which ones are which so we may see some fluctuations because of that but I think it will still be a fairly good comparison to see if one works better than the other. So what I'm going to do is just try the, the throw bag first. I'll take the end of my cart off. And just take them really the way it works best for this it out a little but these bags have gotten so old that they're really just falling apart I think when we're done here I'm gonna actually get rid of these because they're if I do decide I want to use the bags again I think I need to clean them with is just a couple like this and then a lot like this where they're tiny so you kind of just sort through and there's another small one small one and so what I'm really looking for with the tower is to see for the stalks how many actually grew because I realize that that's a small space and so it's not like I'm expecting pounds and pounds of potatoes. It doesn't it doesn't produce a whole great amount for us that was maybe one or two seed potatoes and like I said that may have been one that had something came up from last year where I had missed a potato in here and so it could have been one of the ones that did that because there was only two stocks
<laughs> a worm from the potato bag. It's really big. <laughs> Not very active. Maybe I'll throw it in the compost bin. Yeah, you can. Okay, so now I'm just gonna keep opening these bags before we take a look at what's in here. These were probably fingerlings, because you can see the shape, but there are not a lot of them. And this is maybe something from last year. It's just too small. See, this is what I think is causing the potatoes to grow, is that I get these little weird nubs that just get left in there, and then they'll start growing. So I'll be curious to see what happens. That was probably a seed to go to there. That's all we got. just by the heft of the bag <laughs> that there's more going on and it's, it's got some little red potatoes which is nice. make it hard to make sure you pick them all out. You can see there, some of them are really tiny. Seed potato. So the seed potato is what you started with. So the seed potato isn't necessarily any different than say this potato, other than you've waited for it to start to get the eyes and things. Yeah. So the eye would be like right there, where you can see something coming out and starting to grow. And you'll see it a lot in, in the potatoes that you have sit, just sitting on your counter. And a lot of the times when I'm growing potatoes, and I'll cut them so they have an eye on one piece and an eye on another piece, and that will grow. So the seed potato really isn't any different than any other potato. The potatoes you get at the grocery store a lot of the times have been inoculated or they've been sprayed with something or even just going through, you know, a border, they'll get dosed with a whole bunch of UV light or whatever they're doing nowadays to kind of prevent any diseases or whatever crossing the border. So you get your potatoes shipped over the border and they've been kind of, kind of been through the ringer a little bit. And so sometimes those, if you just take them off your counter where they're starting to get little, little eyes and plant them in the ground, they won't, maybe won't do anything. The potatoes I put in this tower were probably 90% seed potatoes that I bought on purpose and then the other 10% were actually potatoes that were sprouting on my counter that I had gotten from the grocery store and a lot of the times I'll just run the risk that those won't go anywhere just because I you at a certain point you can really tell that something is growing and it's gonna do fine so with those I'll just use them because why not I had a little more from that bag so that was probably one of the bags that I did plant something in this year for sure. So just because there were more of an abundance of potatoes. But again, they're mostly small. So I can get 
I'm in there now. I have a few, you know, this isn't all of them. So I have a few that are small like this and a few that are larger. and things that you put on the bottom with these grow bags and then you put some dirt in and then you layer your potatoes on top so the bottom typically doesn't have any potatoes in it because they'll grow at the, about the same level as where you start so they tend to grow more upwards than it than they do down into the ground like uh, other root crops might you know so you can see I've got some rocks in here and things Not expecting to find just a whole lot more of potatoes in here. I was really surprised to see that one that was at the bottom. Rock, more potato. Worm. Just a small worm this time. Okay, here's our last bag, so we'll just see what this one has. Don has black potatoes, so that one just be Because I didn't plant any black potatoes this year, so these are all from last year. Potato. Huh? Snowman potato. Yeah, I don't know. This one doesn't, this one looks like maybe what was left in the ground last year because it's a little, you can see how shiny the black one is when I pull it out of the ground compared to this one that was, looks a little bit more like it was the one that was growing the potatoes. So I think we're going to toss this one and keep these nice ones. So these will have purple on the inside, which will be very pretty. You can see the roots are purple too, which is really interesting. <laughs> it looks very unworldly to me, these weird purple roots. growing off of it. So if I'd have left this longer, it would have kept growing little potatoes. treasure. So annoying. They're always digging in my stuff. be 
extra careful this time because so many years I've had these bags and found potatoes that I didn't mean to grow in them. <laughs> and so it's handy and then I know then when I need to plant my potatoes because the potatoes start growing. And I do replenish the dirt in them so I would dig down to a certain level at the end of the year and kind of get some of the potatoes out and then the next year I would put a new layer of potatoes and put some new dirt and stuff on it but what I was finding is that the potatoes would just start growing and so I would just add a little dirt and add my straw and stuff from from rabbits and things like that so it does have a little bit of rabbit manure and things mixed up in it and that would be pretty good for getting things going so yeah so sometimes when I did that even if there were potatoes already starting to grow I would add a few more and so you would end up with things like this where you've got some but I think this bag was probably all just starts that started all by themselves so because there's only two of these yeah so not very much in there but show you what we got out of those four bags it's not a lot it's probably I want to say maybe three pounds so I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll get a better harvest out of this thing but we'll see I like I said I would be happy with <laughs> With having the same out of this as I got out of those four bags, actually, I would I would be more happy with with a lot more than that. More like a big row of the bags, but we'll see. Okay, we have our potato tower, and I think when I filled this up, it was right around here, so it's sunk down a lot. So I'm really curious what's going on in here because I've I did add a little bit of straw and stuff, probably around June. We'll see what's in here. But the easy thing with this is that I should just be able to kind of snip these and then sort of push. So that's my hope anyways. I'm hoping it doesn't just go flat, but we'll see. I got a little bit overexcited with tightening this thing down because I don't feel like I needed to do all of the twisting that I did here. Like maybe a couple of them would have been fine to keep it held together. Want some help on twisting? Yes. Wire though for, for this, yeah. Twist, easy to twist. And and also just for holding things in and the right size for the, the stuff to come through and things. So I'm I'm happy with that part of it and that it's green. I'm curious because Spill. we still have green leaves if they if this is too soon or not. Well, and that was something that I kind of messed up is that I got some early potatoes and some late potatoes. So I think the green, some of that is probably the early potatoes, but we'll see. Or, sorry, I said that wrong. It, I think the, the pieces that are still green are more of the late potatoes. And also probably just because some of the green ones seem to be in shadier locations. <laughs> So I think some of it got a little fried. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so I think 
I'm gonna try and just go like a layer at a time, but I don't know. This thing's gonna just tip, I can tell. Well, I can see some potatoes. I'm a little grossed out by this because I know it's full of goat <laughs> and it's very damp compared to the other one. But there's definitely a good amount of potatoes already compared to the other one. And they're not all of them rinky dink. There's a rinky dink one. Some of them are kind of, they look sort of like, like a red potato that has not gone red yet, which is weird. I've never seen that before. So that's kind of strange. So this one's kind of got a pink hue to it too. But maybe that's just because they were next to a red potato. I don't know. optimistic and put them in a bucket. <laughs> Gosh, this is so damp. The other, the, the, the grow bags were really dry. These, this is very damp. So that's one thing I can say is that I was worried that this wasn't wet enough. And so now I'm seeing that it was plenty hydrated in the middle. So that's good. Hay is obviously dry, but that's just on the edge. Stock, so you can see how squished and disgusting that seed potato is and it was cut one of the ones I cut in half so you can totally tell just by looking at that how it grows from that half of a potato which is so interesting potatoes are weird and they have these tiny little potato leaves they're potato leaves <laughs> bit of a pill bug problem. There's a lot of pill bugs in here. These kind of creepy crawlies crawling around. Just They've been eating the potatoes? the potatoes? Yeah, and um, also a problem for me not wanting to scream on camera. <laughs> Some of them are really big. They're really disgusting. Why do you want to put rocks in your potato plantings? You want them on the bottom to help with drainage. And I think that might be something that I would do differently with this next year. Because I am thinking that this is sort of successful for us. It, it appears to have a few problems, especially in that. Do you want to bring the camera down here and see if you can even see these bugs? Because there's a lot of them. See in here? Just all the bugs crawling around. So I'm, I'm not liking the bug thing, but I think the tower might drain a little better and possibly be slightly less damp. Because it's a little more damp than I would like it to be, actually. So I think I would do that. And then I also planted a lot of potatoes in here, and I think if I had more of them, I would probably do maybe, maybe even just a half a five pound bag of seed potatoes per tower. And that probably would be a little better. I'd give them a little bit more room, but I like everything so far that I'm seeing because these are, yeah, there's still some of these small ones and things, but 
getting a cup just a couple of these out so far I mean, I've gone through a small a small section of it which is what I would say is roughly the size of maybe one of my potato bags and I've already gotten about half what I got out of four so we'll see how the rest of it goes though that could be the best spot in the entire pack. <laughs> dump all of this into my garden so this will be really good stuff for it but towards the bottom I can see there's worms and things even in here between things and I'm actually kind of liking that because it gives me a sense for how much content there should be in there so I can kind of say okay well there's probably should be one or two potatoes growing in between the layers so I can see kind of if the plants all did what they were supposed to do or not some of the layers maybe I planted a few more because at certain periods when I was putting it together I was like Oh, I should just put a whole bunch in here. And then I started thinking, no, I shouldn't do that because there's going to be crowding, too many potatoes, and nothing's going to grow. And so then I would only put a couple. So it's a little bit of a hodgepodge. And unfortunately, now I can't tell what might be one way and what might be the other. Now, this maybe looks a little silly to some people who have big garden spaces and grow say in the south with you know a whole bunch of sun and things like that but this is the Pacific Northwest and this is a pretty shady location in my garden so I'm happy getting anything to grow in this little corner. Right here is about where the sun really ends. <laughs> yeah, I think the bottom is so wet that it probably just rotted the bottom part of the potatoes. So there definitely needs to be more drainage in this thing. It's just that the, I can tell that some of it is rotted. This one, I could probably replant it. Look at that. <laughs> That anywhere where it got too close to the center is where, you know, around the edge where the straw is, it's dry. But in the, closer to the center, it's just really damp. sat there while I dug through all this dirt and got filthy and I'm probably played not in the gonna bug. be in the episode. What? I might not even be in the episode. Huh. I don't know until I edit it. Yeah.
just showed you who does the hard work around here. <laughs> Potato. Yeah. what I might do differently and want to try again. I don't think I'm gonna go out and make maybe like six of these next year, but I might make three. And some things I think I'll do differently are that I can see just by looking at this bucket that these red potatoes did a lot better than the white ones. The white ones just look weird. They're smaller mostly and those are supposed to be the big ones. So I'm, I'm thinking that the red ones, the red potatoes, these are red Pontiacs. I'm not sure what the, these ones are. They're supposed to, the white ones were supposed to be really good for my area, which is why I selected them, but you never know. I think I will do the red potatoes only and 
try doing a shorter tower with rocks on the bottom and I will use more of the straw along the sides and I will try not to maybe obsess about the watering so much because I think maybe I over watered a little bit and that caused that bottom layer to mostly have a lot of rotten potatoes in it because when I was pulling through there that's when I started to get really gunky potatoes and just a lot of rot and things like that and some of them did grow but they tended to grow more of these smaller ones like this one and it has this one has a hole in it so it's completely disgusting whereas these bigger ones were mostly towards the top so that also leads me to think that that maybe having a larger layer of straw as well on the bottom might be a good idea and maybe also having more straw between the layers of where you because what you do is you create these nests for the potatoes as you're putting them in and so you put a layer of straw down on the whole thing and then you put a little dirt in the middle and then you put your potatoes around on the edge of that dirt and so what I think I will do next time is make that nest quite a bit deeper and ultimately end up using a little bit less dirt because I was worried about not having enough dirt and looking through this I feel like I had too much dirt because some of the straw broke down and it's just really really damp and compared to my grow bags which were really fairly dry I feel like that that made a big difference yeah so we'll try it again next year and see how it goes and maybe do a three instead of just one but I'm not completely unhappy because I did get some but I'm I'm really wishing that I would get more potatoes than I put in <laughs> seed potatoes because I feel like that's part of the problem that I'm faced with right now is that it's a little bit like why am I doing this because I put in about this much seed potatoes and then I get out about that much potato <laughs> so if I were to go plant this I the same way I just did I would get this much potato back <laughs> which is disappointing so I'm not feeling like it's really successful at this point but I, I did call this an experiment it's still an experiment Right like when you were saying there are no potatoes, that big potato rolled right in front of the camera. <laughs>